Hi, it's Uncle Low with uh, Uncle Low's Next Adventures. Um, haven't done a clip in a while, but I uh, just wanted to kind of share uh, a little bit of what's been happening more on the car front. Um, you guys know that uh, I love uh, different cars and cars that I keep for a while. Generally, they're manual cars, uh, well, almost all manual cars. And um, usually first generations I ha have a little soft spot for the ones that just come out and that have stood the test of time. They're usually a little bit edgier, uh, not as refined. You know, they don't address uh, all the kind of mid-year updates. But, uh, you know, some cars, I, I won't say that, you know, uh, which ones, but uh, they are better uh, as the iterations go along. But uh, I really wanted to share my latest trade here. It's a big stretch. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't think that um, I'd, I'd even come close to trading uh, to this level. But uh, as you guys know, I, I had a... Uh, 2000 Jeep TJ uh, for a short period of time. Uh, I loved it nonetheless. Uh, obviously, there were things that uh, bother me with any car, but with the TJ here, uh, it was special because I had two uh, Jeep uh, JKs before, uh, four door ones, and this two door one is something that I've always wanted. I wanted the lightest uh, version of it, which I did get. Uh, I wanted a, a manual, which I did get. And uh, I wanted to lift it and put some wheels on, which uh, I did get and I did put on. So um, that was kind of fun. Um, all I'm going to say is that the TJ is a great short distance uh, uh, goer. And, you know, it needs uh, trails that are not pavement pounders. They're more off-roading that uh, you truly, truly understand why this TJ is uh, lovable. Aside from that, uh, you don't get the creature comforts as the, the next car that I'm going to kind of introduce to you guys. And um, my plans for this one here is I'm going to drive it for a while, uh, see how it goes. But you guys know I also love to take my uh, some of my toys and take it out to the track because I, I truly believe that you can enjoy it in a very safe and fun environment. Um, you know, just some smiles and just the limits of your car. And uh, I'm going to definitely take my next 2004 Audi TT 1.8 T 225 model. Um, I'm pretty stoked about this one here because, uh, like I said, I didn't think that I would trade uh, um, that far off off the spectrum. Um, the last person I traded it with, uh, from their own words, were I'm going from a brick to a beast or a beast to a brick, depending the way you look at it. Uh, and I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, but nonetheless, is so far so good. Uh, I've driven it up, I've polished it up a bit like I generally do. Uh, I've cleaned it up, I've driven it with my daughter, I've taken it on a few long uh, hauls already. And, uh, you know, there's some, some minor things I need to kind of address. There's some things that I'm probably just going to have to live with. But at the end of the day is uh, things that I need working are working and working well. So um, I'm more excited. My first few steps, uh, interestingly, is I'm not replacing wheels. I know a lot of you guys usually um, know that I, I replace wheels either to go lighter or I either maybe it could come from a, a little bit of aesthetics. But this one here, I think I'm going to keep uh, the stock ones, which are the lightest 17 inch wheels. Uh, I might eventually move to 18s. I do have a set of 18 Koenigs uh, unknowns that I could put on just to try it out and see what it looks like. If I, if I like it, I'll, I'll put some spacers on it and probably keep it as is. Uh, but my, my, my first set, I actually, I just want to take off. Uh, it has winter tires on it right now. I just want to take it off and put some summer tires on it. So then um, maybe that I can take it immediately just for a few track sessions. And then after that, uh, I do either want to chip it either before or after that session. 
Um, I did the Unitronics uh, Stage 1 Plus last time with my new Beetle 1.8T. I think this time around with this TT, I might just go Stage 1 because uh, I do go to the States a lot. And they have 91 octane as their top tier for their Chevron that I go to. Um, so I might just keep it at that. I don't really want to manage on exceptions, but I think that the 93 and up um, from Shell and Chevron are not readily acceptable. And if I do take a trip out to the States and stuff, I just want to make sure that uh, I'm not putting lower octane that's recommended, right? That I'm, I, at least I go up. Uh, even or above um yeah what are some of the other plans um the other plans really nothing else this car right now i just want to make sure that uh, there's some reliability and there's a suspension creak in there uh probably to some dried bushings uh i'm gonna look at that a little bit um engine wise like i said uh it runs pretty smoothly or else i wouldn't decide to put a chip um, I do have a boost gauge there that I just haven't decided to put it in yet uh, simply because I do love the aesthetics. I love the interior of the Audi TT and that's kind of the reason why I sought it out and wanted to uh, potentially trade or get to an Audi TT is simply because I love the interior and when you look at uh, my example here which I'll, I'll be able to show hopefully really soon it's almost like a uh, museum. It's like a, a time capsule of uh, what it would be like if you bought this brand new. Uh, the interior, um, you know, obviously you look closely like in any car. There's there's some things to be uh, addressed, but from a uh, aesthetics and beauty standpoint, uh, it hasn't changed. And it, it, it's really 9 out of 10 or even an 8 out of 10 uh, in most books. Uh, but anyways, uh, the only thing I wanted to share was that today that, uh, I just traded it in and I'll give some adventures on what I'm going to do with some of my other projects. But, uh, yeah, this is uh bye for now from uncle Lo and uncle Lo's next adventure. Please. If you like, uh, some of these projects that I share or what I end up doing, or you just want to follow and see you know, what's that drive out like to the track day or what it's like at the track day. Um, that's basically all that I'm doing. It's just, I'm, I'm giving a small glimpse of, uh, you know, a really not unspectacular life, but one that an average, uh, person like me, average uncle low, um, can go do. And I, that's why I do it so that I can encourage you to, to, to follow your passions, follow, uh, some of uh, the things that you enjoy so that you can get some more fulfillment and more smiles uh, and, and, and more laughter in your life. So uh, bye for now from Uncle Lo. And again, please don't forget to subscribe. There it is. Let's take a quick look.